All right, y'all, so we're out here today. We gotta put a new water line in about 300 foot that way for a older lady I know, been friends with for a long time. Just coming to kind of help her with this problem she's got. But I gotta cut through here. The water meter's over that way. We're gonna cut through there and we'll show you in a minute. All right, here we go. First off, I got the best help in the whole wide world. Hi. Billy's helping today. All right, so we got to put a water line way down through there, 300 feet. And we're having to get to the water meter, which is through this little patch of woods. We just cleared off. So we got to come up through here. And here's the water meter right here. It's actually about a 2,000 plus foot water line down through there. And what happened is, as you can see where this meter is right here, the water line goes through those trees right through yonder. So we're going to bypass the trees, cut down through here and go through that field. So, you know, don't be scared to tackle something like this on your own, but if you can't, call the professionals. Uh, you can rent a little digger like this for probably two to three hundred dollars a day. So, and if you don't have a real long water line, you probably get it done in a day. Don't ever stick your finger down in these holes. Black widows love these boxes. Let's see if we can find one. Uh, I don't see one. Snakes might like them too. But this is your water meter. We're going to dig this up, tap onto it, run a new line today. Black pie. All right, this is called black roll, three quarter black roll. Never start digging around this box with a machine because if you locate this water line, you can cut it loose, but you don't want to grab it with your bucket and rip this meter out right here. If you grab this water line, more likely it's going to break right here, but if it's strong enough, you can rip this meter from this side, which is tied onto the city or county, and you're having a bad day because you're not gonna have the tools to shut that water off once you rip that out. So if you always cut this loose, you'll be good and you can use a little bit of the machine to dig this away. Wow. Got it loose. All right. Mm -hmm. Clean it up a little bit. After years, these things seem to get a lot of buildup in them. You notice. 
Let's go down and cut this thing. Don't get wet. All right. All right, see this union right here, y'all? Right down in here. I'm gonna take this union off right here. Let me get some tools. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Show you a little trick here. If you go to twisting on this thing right here, see that meter moving? You might break that line back here. Possibility, could happen. So here's your little trick right here. Stick your shovel in here right here. But we need to go this way. You'll stick it the other way whenever you uh, tighten it up. But this will help that meter from twisting. Okay, she's on there pretty good. Make sure you keep everything clean because you don't want to get no dirt into the system. This has a built-in check valve on it, but you don't want to get no contamination in your water going to the line, anything, except sweat, dripping. Dripping sweat's okay, because that's what I'm doing right now. Trust me. Let's take this apart. Out with the old, him with the new. All right. All right. Use that. Some thread tape. When you put this thread tape on, you have to go clockwise. Pull it a little tight as you're going. Wrap it about four, five, six times, and then pull it real tight like that. That's what you want to do right there. You want to do it clockwise because when you go to tighten it, it won't unravel your thread tape. You do it the other way it's going to unravel your thread tape and it's not going to seal That's that. Make sure your uh, little fit in here is cleaned out good. And if you keep it clean down here, it's still clean. You can go backwards a little bit till you hook up and get the right angle on your threads. It's one of the most important parts, y'all, right here. The rest of it's pretty simple. All right, now you pull your shovel out because we're going to be torquing this way. So, see how it's pulling on this, y'all? It ain't allowing it to twist. Very important. Look at that. I can really torque it. She's tight. Just take your box. Set it back in there for now. All right. We're going to We're going to dig this ditch down through here.
make sure when you're digging your trench that you keep it 12 to 18 inches deep. We're here in North Carolina. The frost here only gets down about four inches, but we usually put them in 12 to 18 inches deep to your water line. If you live somewhere else, you might want to check around because if you're up where it's real cold, they put water lines in four foot deep. So that way they don't freeze. So just check and see. But hey, don't be scared to get in it and try it yourself. RC. All right. Good. Where's those crampers, babe? <laughs>